but I, I'm shocked. I had, this is not what I expected. This is not what I expected to be doing this video on. This is, I don't even know what to say. What happens when you leave the lid off your developer? For those of us who have been coloring hair for some time, we've always been told, do not leave the lid off your developer. If you're familiar at all with hydrogen peroxide, you know that it's a solution of mostly water. A certain percentage of that water has an extra oxygen atom. That is why developer or hydrogen peroxide is known as H2O2. So this 20 volume or 6% peroxide is 6% H2O2 and then 94% mostly water. So we're always told don't leave the lid off because it's an unstable solution and it's going to release those oxygen molecules. If you leave the top off your developer overnight, what used to be 20 volume, you can come back in the morning and it's 10 volume. Then you put the lid back on, nobody knows it's been left off and you, you end up having color disasters all day because things aren't turning out predictably like you thought that they should. And it's a really easy scapegoat. I found out something interesting recently with the hydrogen peroxide. I think it's actually much more stable than we've been told and than when we've been taught. Now, I am not a scientist. I am not a chemist. I am a hairstylist, but I do like to apply the scientific method to, to my career and figure out how things work, why things work, do things work the way that I have been told that they work. So five weeks ago, in trying to discover something else, there was a, a product that's supposed to stop the oxidation process in peroxide. And I was wanting to compare it and figure out how it works, what it is, to just regular peroxide. So I added some of the additive to some 20 volume peroxide and then just left some 20 volume peroxide open and out overnight. What happened? This is the very peroxide. Got it from Sally Beauty Supply, clear 20 volume. If you've watched any of my other videos where I measure the developer volume, you'll recognize the hydrometer and my graduated cylinder. And I wanna show you something. So I'll fill up my cylinder, gently float my hydrometer in there because I don't want it, you know, bouncing too much. Now hydrometer can be affected by uh, temperature, and some other circumstances, but you can pretty clearly see this hydrometer is floating right there at the very bottom of that yellow line. If I lift that up, it will tell me that's 20 volume. So this is in fact 20 volume. So what happened when I took my plain untreated peroxide, left the lid off overnight, and my antioxidation product left the lid overnight. When I added them to my hydrometer and measured the volume, do you know what I saw? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I didn't see anything. They, they were exactly the same. And I thought, huh, that's weird. How long is it going to take this peroxide to lose its effectiveness? <laughs> so five weeks ago is when I started this. This is 20 volume hydrogen peroxide. that has been sitting in this flask open in this very room for the last five weeks straight. So what do you think I'm gonna see? But if we zoom in, we should see that this is still registering as 20 volume. It's floating tiny bit smaller than the fresh lidded one is, but I, I'm shocked. I had. This is not what I expected. This is not what I expected to be doing this video on. This is, I don't even know what to say. But this whole thing makes me really think about critical thinking as a hairstylist, especially with color. When we're formulating and applying color, there are so many variables that we have to deal with. And I think oftentimes when a color service goes wrong, us as stylists go right to the thing that maybe we heard someone else say, 
or that seems like, like a good answer that makes it not our fault. There are times when circumstances are beyond our control and color can turn out strange or, or unexpected. But there are other times when if there are 12 different factors going into color and I skip a step, I don't know for sure that it's because my developer malfunctioned. It's because I skipped a step and everything that came after that was now uncertain. And we have to be honest with ourselves as colorists and to really examine and want to, to learn and grow. And it's a, it's a difficult thing to do, but it's super important if you want to be at the top of your field or if you want predictable results every time to really be honest with yourself about the results that you're getting. And what I have seen today is that leaving the top off my developer for five weeks did not change its, it didn't go down to 10, it didn't go down to seven, it's still registering at 20 volume. And this is a sample of one. So scientifically, it's certainly not rigorous, but this has kind of changed my thinking a little bit. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw and you want to see some more, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. Feel free to share with any of your nerdy friends. Click the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Let me know what else you want to hear about. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time.